But Arnold Lejo no gets bro. The Beehive Podcast with Richie B. We're chilling with the hustlers. We're chilling with the entertainers. And we're chilling with the entrepreneurs. From there. Yeah. One one. Oh, oh, which one? We live Black Street. Yeah, it's a, it's a li. Oga na talje ne. Who are Raska Emma Emma ger? All right, uh, ladies and gents, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. You could have been somewhere else, of course. You chose to be here with me. And uh, this guy, I don't know if maybe I should introduce this guy. But uh, if how to be the guy who can learn today, you have a problem. And you will be like, you know, man. What's up, man? Good, man. Great, great, great. It's, it's, I can't speak it. I'm yeah. blessed to have you here. And thank you so much for joining. I know. I had to, I had to come. But uh, I want to start with your employer. How? Your employer. Yeah. Before we introduce uh, your employer, Asha, but why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Of favor, England. Parents. And they were activating. Kaiser Chiefs. And how it's was work. it? How was it? Joe? No, it was nice. I, <laughs> I love football. I love, I love Kaiser Chiefs. I love parents. Yeah. So just that I, I love parents more. <laughs> but ever Kaiser Chiefs. You it, do it. You are at work. So we don't have a. Yeah. And uh, your employer. So you're, <laughs> If you're a Sangoma and then you're yeah. acting I, and they say, say hallelujah, are you not going to say hallelujah? Because of I'm acting, yeah. you're right. <laughs> Otherwise, ladies and gents, we need to talk about what you do. What is it that you do? What is it that you do? What is it that you do? What is it a radio presenter, award winning radio presenter. Let me emphasize this. Yeah. Award winner, yeah, a radio presenter, is an MC, is a uh, what? Organizer, a mentor to others. Yeah. And what else? What What is that? I'm music? a youth activist, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I I advocate for young people. I want to see young people making it. I want to see young people progressing, becoming successful. That's what actually I think I'm living for. Oh. Yeah. Hence, Ibile, you call yourself minister. Exactly. Self-proclaimed minister. <laughs> Because on, on some of the comments when I posted, you saw her, remember? Yes. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, w- <laughs> you know? <laughs> 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 there are certain things I also know to have. You will be like a man. YP. YP. Like a patron. Oh, my dear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, before that, I was like, I'm not like a minister. I'm not like a minister. And I'm not like a minister. But before, I'm not like a minister. 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 Yeah. I'm a, I'm a young man from Mulechi. Mulechi uh, Ramabiluani, that's where I grew up. And then I grew up there, went to school there, learned everything there until I passed my grade 12. Then I had to go to University of Limpopo to go and study media and communication. That's where I think everything started shaking shape. Uh, why I joined Radio Tef and then the passion for radio was always there. But when I went to University of Limpopo, that's where I got my first chance to be on radio. And from the 20th of August, 2007, I never looked back. Till to this day, I've been doing radio. Radio is all I know. Since 2007? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, man. And, and, literally, like, I want to be there. I like that. I, I don't think it was, it was out of choice because... I think for me to fall in love with radio was because at home there was no TV. So my father always had a radio. So at home we always had a radio. That's the only thing, means of communication or means of getting information that we had at house, I mean yeah. in the house. And um, yeah, my father was a lover of radio. So I had to be part of the listeners. So that's why I fell in love with the voices of the radio. And I was like, but I think I love this thing because yeah. now I knew everything. I knew every voice on radio. I knew the lineup of Tobel FM back then, you know, and the people who were presenters there. Mm. And I, I, I knew them by heart, even the, the programming. I knew Ka- it by heart. Yes, because there was no time for television. It was only radio at all. But because of there was a t- I was I was going through your profile. Yeah. There's this picture got 2013 of a trade cap, got a straight cap yeah. and all so forth. And they were still calling you cheese boy and also <laughs> me cheese boy. I don't even I don't even connect with being a cheese boy because me it's more of a I don't know. This week I saw something on, on social media. Somebody was saying um you know, I'm still working, I'm earning over 35,000, but my parents still buy me uh, clothes. Someone was like, they're paying my 
color when even though I'm working. Or you know, you know to you, someone else. Someone was, was oh. saying that, and I'm, I'm looking at these people, I'm like, some of us had to hustle for ourselves from the grade nine. Yeah. From grade nine, there was no one doing anything for us because I lost my father uh, in 2010, and I was still oh. young, and then I was the only one at home. Oh. My sister dropped out of her, I mean, high school. Rest in peace she had there, to go yeah. to, um, you know, in Gauteng, and then later on she passed on. And I was the only one left at home. So, so I had to fend for myself. Nearly only two, you and your sister. Yeah. Maybe. No, we, we actually, my parents divorced, and then my other sister said to live with my with my mom. Oh. So, but me and my sister, we remained with my father. Oh. So, meaning that now we are the only two with my father. We were staying with my father. Oh. So, when my father uh, passed on, and... You were in grade nine? Yes, I was in grade nine. And your sister tried to go to Joe And then my sister had to, draw, uh, to drop out to say, I'm going to fend for, for us. Sure. So that now I had to be at home alone Yeah. and make sure that I survive. I go to school. There was no one to say go to school. There was no one to say, wake up. Did you eat? Did you have a new shirt? Did you have a new underwear? Wow. So from grade nine, so you, you, some people they see us today, they think we are, we are making money or we are, we, are, we are privileged or we are successful. We are not. We are just the kids of the domestic worker, we are the kids of, uh, you know, poor parent somewhere there. We, we didn't have anything. And it, it surprises me when people jealous us, you know, yeah. wanting to see us being there at the deep uh, uh, bottom down. Wow, it, it, and it, yeah. is, it, is not, it is not okay, you know, they celebrate your downfall. You they come, don't know, you they don't know how much work you've put for you to be where you are. Sure. You get my point? Yeah. So they see you driving in Smolenia and Apollo, they think, who is he? How did you he know? know? Yeah, and yeah. They, 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 they always want to see you down. And they don't know how much work we put into our lives. And you, especially you, Joe, uh, how, how do you find uh, the society coming to you, the support? Do you think uh, you get the love that you get, or, or what is it, or you force that love? No, no, you know, I'm, 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 uh, I'm very normal. I'm a young man who's actually, I don't force the love. I never ran a competition on my Facebook to say people to follow me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All the people you see following me are genuine. Wow. They yeah. are very genuine people. They are not bored. They are not sponsored. They are not, they just, it's just an organic love. You know, in, in this world, there will always be those people who will be against you. And it's normal. Yeah. And there will always be those ones who will support you, who will love you genuinely so. And I think I am getting that love from the real people. There are real people. Who, who knows what is a struggle? Who knows uh, what is to build a brand and to 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 to, to hustle? Yeah, you know they won't even tell us you. But there's no way more towards working. People are hating. There are a lot of haters. No, they are there. People hate me, and I don't give a fuck. You don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Who are, and 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 then you look at those people who hate me, and I was gonna be worried if I was hated by, you know, important people or people who are making money. I'm just hated <laughs> by people who are. Who are they're not even better than anything? They don't. They're not even. You 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 look at them, and then you pity them. You be yeah, like, oh, this God. people. This person is going through a lot. Yeah. You know, and such people, you don't condemn them. You don't hate them back. You yeah. respond by giving them love. You know, you say, now I was raised by, I was raised with love from the, the young age. Yeah. So what I got from my father before he passed on, he gave him. He, he taught me love to respect. And that's what I respond. I will respond people with who love. hate me with good love. Because I see a lot of, lot of things, you know, uh, like, I don't know if I saw your comment. There was this Joe, uh, this guy, I don't know, Joe Wisto or something like that related. Oh, yeah. And you also do the same concept, concept or whatever that you do yeah. here. Parking, yeah. I don't know. I yeah. have never seen your comment. Did you comment to that? I did comment. I just talked to, to him and I'm like, bruh. You know, coping people is normal. You know, ideas are the same. I'm not the one who came up with the idea when it's on payment yeah. fully because that idea has been there on radio. I, I don't own the rights for uh, connecting people to date and everything. I don't. I'm, I'm not the master of that. Yeah. But I just, I just didn't understand him calling everything just like mine. Like it's like you want. Joe Wisto. Joe Wisto. Joe Wisto I mean, I mean, yeah. Just like that. I'm like, no. And, and how did you resolve it? Did you, did you approach him and? No, and I just, I just warned him, and then uh, from, from there, gave it to my lawyers. Come on. Yeah. Did, did you register that hand? Yes, yeah, we Pemut. did. Yes. Come on. We did, and then we, we, we said to the people. 
people, people can do the, the same concept. When you are but they must not. You can't copy everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how, how, how did you come about uh, this thing at Kwenu Stompe? Where did you where did you see it? Ah, Kwenu Stompe was just a joke, bro. Come on, <laughs> was, fella now, just, fella it now was just like big. any other status on on on, on, on social media. Well, uh, we'll be like, uh, guys, kwala mo koto shuti ya mo tushuke le fengiem, or maybe comment if you want somebody on my friend list kita ufanye. It was just, just that's like how we that. started, yeah. And the yeah. hype around the engagement, engagement, and people loved it. I was like, no, people love this thing. Let me just continue with it. And, and okay, how how well as well? Is it a joke or but why they, they they mean it? Ever recognized? I'm I'm this guy. I'm looking for this type of person and also for. Is it a joke or like some they are, they are joking? Mm -hmm. Some are just playing around, but there are some people who are very serious. A lot of and you them. You see them and say, A lot of Come them. On. Whenever they go to your Deben, they send me pictures. Come on. When they, I, I, last year, I did one wedding. They met on Kwanisho and Piemont. Come on. Yeah, people are getting married. When people are there scamping others, some, some are getting serious and they're getting true love. And how do you feel about that? I, I, Dr. Love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I think uh, it's, it's an amazing thing, you know, to see people, you know, being happy because you contributed to their happiness. And do they come and say, thank you so much? Yeah, a lot. Uh, no, no, not money. <laughs> <laughs> not money, there's no money. But uh, I, I, if they can say, Let, let's call Kwanisha an MC, that's a, yeah, say, yeah. it's, it's, it's and, another and, way and, of saying thank you. Yeah, and you're very good on that. Uh, I once shared a stage with you, and I was like, "Hell, I'm sharing a stage with with a giant, with a goat." And what is it? Let me listen to this guy. Yeah. Unfortunately, I came before you, and I was tired. But when you came, I was yeah. like, "I was listening to you," and I even have a video of you. Oh, yeah, doing okay. the thing, and I was like, "Yeah, this guy." Is no, but good. you're very good. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. But I think it's your line. I must focus. Yeah, you must focus on it. Thank you so much. Like, you just focus on that. <laughs> and t tell me about the radio, the, the, the your journey here radio. Yeah. How, how did you end up in radio? How did you start? And uh, you know, in radio, I used to be to love radio so much that uh, I'm actually a poet. You know, I used to write poetry about radio. There was there's this other poem that I wrote for Tobel FM way back when I was still in grade 10. Do you still remember it? I don't remember the lines, oh. but I just remember talking about Mashamait, all those ones. It was the time when Augustine Shotola was still there and then he was playing my poem regularly on his show. It was in the wee hours, three to six in the morning, and then my poem was playing there every day. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's where it started. Then when I went to varsity, I, I went to study media and communication. Then that's when I got the opportunity to start at Radio Chef. From Radio Chef, I went to SABC until, you know, those things happened and everything. Yeah. Which, which thing? Those ones. You know <laughs> which one? one? Those, those things which happened. You started at Radio Chef? Yeah. From Radio Chef? To SABC. Straight to SABC? Yeah. Connection? Or no, you, your, your talent? Genuine. Talent. Come on, did you know someone who qualified to a red school there? No, I was one of the few who qualified. And you were minister that time? Not really, because the minister thing started when I was still at, when I went to Tobe. So the, okay, Kenya was about Jones and Shingama Tobe, like the, the, po, the poet or gave from Radio Tev. From submitted. Radio Tev, they advertised the post, I applied. Then you got it. Then I got it. Which slot did you get? Uh, it was a, a youth show, Monday to Friday, two to three. Oh. Yeah, that's where everything started. Then from Tobe? From Tobela that I went, which radio station did I join? There There's was a lot of radio yeah, that even you uh, miss. Motion, so. motion Sense. Yeah. He said we wanted to start a radio station, but the person who, whom I wanted to, to work with, the, the vision was not the same. Then I left. Oh, yeah. I went, uh, and then UNISA, hand, hand, I mean, head handed me. Then I went to UNISA. Then it was a year, then that's when COVID happened. Then I had to come back home, join the proper radio. At some point, I joined Connect Radio. Now I'm at Energy FM. Wow, man. Yeah. Radio is in you. You are radio. Yeah, but at some point, I'm thinking about dropping the mic. Why? I think I've, extort, I've uh, exhausted radio. Come enough. on, we still need you. So, some people know about radio, and now you want to leave. Come on, give Not me a really. uh, for, for where, where, When do you want to leave? Ah, uh, man, Not I've sure. been thinking. Come on. Uh, maybe no. in the next two years or one year. Teach us before you leave, man. Teach us before you leave. <laughs> But uh, the legacy of my kids, 
Ne? I can't just be famous and not have a property or something to live for my kids. We, I, I need to, for, for now, I'm no longer living for myself. I'm living for my kids. I've got kids. I'm a, I'm a father. So when you say, when you say you, you're thinking of dropping the mic, what is it that you're thinking of doing? I maybe go to into corporate or start something, media company or something that will actually that when I stop breathing, my kids will have something to inherit. Now so it's no longer about me; it's about the next generation. Oh, How much have I prepared enough for them? I think even even the viewers at home, they are like, well, Konisto, you can't do that to us. <laughs> you can't no, do it's not like I'm us. fighting people or I'm or something. Just that those are the plans. Then you you have your own plans. But if it doesn't happen, if God keeps keeps me going, I will keep on going. But uh, those minds and thoughts are are there. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, I see, uh, let, me, let me try to recall what I've seen on my comment. Oh, they were talking about uh, this guy who is currently on fire, who is talented, but some people are saying his behavior or his attitude, it's a no-no. Yeah. But you, you support the likes of uh, uh, Shebe. 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 Shebe is a great young man. Yeah. And uh, I think the people who are blaming Shebe are actually... My seventies, my eighties, my nineties, who are not even target market their share. But the people who are the target market their share, they're happy about share. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I'm not going to come here and speak better as if I'm better than share. Yeah. Me and share are just a boy child who needed a chance. I'm, I'm, I see myself when I was growing up in share. Yeah. And, but people gave me a chance to listen to me and to support me. Yeah. So why today, when a young person who's crying for help, should we actually condemn him and push him down to say, no, you can't come up. You are supposed to, to be, uh, you know, a thug and you must die as a thug. But a young person, a boy child is saying, give me a chance to prove myself. Yeah. You hate him everywhere. You talk bad about him everywhere. He's a human being. He will react at some point. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. because you can always remind people where they come from. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to they change. Des they deserve a chance in life. Yeah. He's a boy child. Yeah. Uh, how many boy child who are like Shebe, who are not given a chance in this country? A lot. Because we think a young person must just uh, 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 be born, become a thug, and then get killed or maybe go to jail. Then that's it. So that's, so that's the story of a boy child. So they're treating him based on the past Jagal. Exactly. And whenever they see him doing much better, because already they people have got perception about you. Yeah. People they come and then they say, Oh, Grichi. Grichi must never must just have a, a podcast which will never grow. Yeah. That's what they want. They, they want they may wish you well, but not better than them. They don't want you to do better than them. Yeah. So Shebe found them in this game. They were pushing for 10 years. And he's, he's, he's good. And then he came then and then God said, I anoint you. Because when God anoints a person, doesn't look at your history. Yeah. He says, now I'm, I'm here, I'm God. I want to work with you. And God will always choose the worst person. And in this regard, he chose Shebe. And then he said, Shebe, I'm giving you the talent. I'm, I trust you with this talent. Go and show the world what God can do. Yeah. From a young man who actually now was never given a chance. So like we must give him a chance. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. And yeah, I, I, I never got and I'm not that saying, chance. I, I never and got and that. Uh, and we know sometimes people are influencing us. Yeah. You know, Chebe, what, what, he kicked someone, Mama Tongi. But what the story that you're giving me now, he's a human being at the end of the day. Exactly. But they get to him these comments. What do you love about him? I love the fact that he's real. He's not faking, he's not doing PR stunt uh, and living like he's old when he knows that he's got a problem and then he needs help. Yeah. Shebe does not say, I am perfect. Yeah. And then he never said, I am perfect to people. People are expecting him to be perfect and he's not, he's being real. He talks his mind, how he feels at that time. And unfortunately, he will say things which do not, I mean, that most of the people do not agree with. Controversial. So, yeah, the, you know, People when they speak, when they see the, the, the microphone like now, yeah. they want to be holy, sounds holy, and then they are this, and then they answer you with, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with care to say, no, I must not even end up saying something like that, because people might look at me. But, but Sheva says, this is me, and this is how I feel right now, and I'm giving you right what I feel. And, and okay, 
Okay, he's a human <laughs> being. He's a human being, of course. But there's a time when you're in a little bit of normal. I grow up sometimes a uh, media or yeah. far what they want to give us. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure sometimes on a lawyer, a favor to the the gifts. They don't, they show, don't show us there. Yeah. We only see the bad side. My lord, there was a moment. My lord, Nara Hamutus Fatleho on the stage. Where did he start? They don't know. Did you see it? I saw it. Look, I am not saying Shebe is perfect, and yeah. I'm not saying I agree with everything that he does. Yeah. There are certain things when he does, when he do, when he do them. Yeah. I get like, no, man, Shebe, I wish yeah, you could have yeah. handled that much better. Yeah. But he's a human being. I'm not going to judge him and say condemn him for what he did on the, on that particular incident. There are so many things good, good things that he did, which I think maybe he could have handled certain things. In a different way, yeah. And I am not going. Uh, I am not going to 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 come here and and, and say Shebe is, is 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 an angel. That's a, that's that's the only thing that he did that which I think he could have handled them better. And also, they're saying you're supporting gangster. Well, Manizo. I don't even know no, 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 them. <laughs> I just saw the comment and I was like, go. It, it comes from uh, you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm one person, I will support you when everyone does not support you because oh. I don't go come off it. I know or I know how to be judged because I've been judged so many times. Yeah, and yeah. it is not nice. People can start a room about you and then you're out So and then there are so many people who are actually crying for help with what they're doing. Yeah. And instead of us helping them and rescuing them, we condemn them further to be in the pit. So what is it that we're doing to help all these people? I cannot come here and then find uh, I'm not like that. Oh, yeah. You want to change. At some point, I would like to know, guys, give this person a chance again. Why? You know? Yeah. Because he's a human being, this person. Yeah. I will never support any black person hating one another black person. Wow. That's this, why... This is powerful. That's why, uh, you know, Black, black people are, are, are hated everywhere. Black people are not loved. Especially a boy child. A boy child is sadly loved in this country. Yeah. When you see a boy child being loved, just know where he has got money. They love what he has. Exactly. Because you see a lot of young people, especially boy children, yeah. in this country. The reason why you see them, they are, they are, they are, they are depicting a lot of anger around and with the GBV going up. Yeah. It is because the boy child is not raised well. The boy child is not given a chance. The boy child is actually angered. Because the boy child, that, first of all, does not know where, where he comes from. Yeah, yeah. He does not know his originality. Yeah. And they were raised by single mothers. Their fathers are nowhere to be found. So they have anger. They so. have anger. Because in Nike, like a kid, Namaka, Mamuka, Tokolong, and Namashman, and Casala Fabro, Kin Namaka gets about my clan and my roots. And then you, as Baloi, you don't know where you come from. How does that make you feel? You end up developing anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now, your originality is messed up with. Wow, Queen is though. Come on. You see, so in this country, if we want to fix the country, yeah. Let's check how we are treating a boy child. Let's love a boy child. And this thing of love being foreign in our culture, it must come to an end. A mom must be able to say, my son, Jaurata, I love you so much. Yeah. It's, we know that our parents love us, but, but they, they hardly tell us that. The moment your mother says they love you, they want to show you love, that's when they give you money. That's how they show the love. The parents, they think giving us money is love. I've rehabilitated over 50 young boys in this, in this province. Come on. You know, which medicine did by I Kure, use? By Kure. Yes. You know, which medicine did I use? I didn't use, I didn't give them anything. I got their mothers who were giving them money at home. Yeah. I gave them love, something which they were missing. Then they changed, like out of nowhere. They've, they've changed. Come love on. is foreign in our, in, in, our, on, in, in, in our culture. Love is foreign in our culture. You know that your mom loves your, your mother. Yeah. They've been together for 35 years. 
they've raised you guys you know but it's very hard it's, it's hardly to hear your father saying to your mom i love you hey you are right 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 because love love is foreign like that in our culture you see, and this habit, it grows even to the kids. Yeah. The kids, are, they don't know love. And there are certain things that we, as black people, we must take them seriously, like mental health and everything, and love, emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Mara, why most of young people by Lorego X no rehabilitate about Wellam Rao? When when you rehabilitating them, do you get chance to interview them or how did they get into drugs yes. uh, those in your opes? Most, yes. Mostly Mostly the Chis boys. Oh. The boys, they've got a lot of money on their hands. And uh, but because they're, they're always pumping them with money, even when they're doing wrong, wrong things, uh, you know, they're not being talked to. They, they always rectify everything with money. Oh, when I come to Uto Uto because I'm a child, child is she. That's also Uto. Yeah. And then they grow up with that thing. They end up not knowing love. That's why when they come back from rehab, even these parents, they can't even start where we, we as people who rehabilitated them uh, did. I can't remember we were at a certain part. Yeah. We're not talking about your appeal. But your appeal, that's why. But yeah. they always remind them. I don't want to do the apostle. I'm like, what about we in your peace? Oh. They don't want to do the apostle. Oh. What's going on? Oh. 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 They don't give me love. Oh. Yeah. Le preaching. Le preaching. Oh. 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 One of them, <laughs> one of them is back, <laughs> and they will give him hugs. Come on! From that time of feature until we see what's a separate wheel. That's how much they love each other, and to so much they love each other, yeah. they can even share blood. Okay, that to say, "Ore, I'm high. We don't have enough blood. Amara, you know what? I'm high. I'm gonna share my blood with you." Come on! Then they be. Come on! Their bond is so strong. All right, Kwenisto, you've changed a lot of life for working or rehabilitate about, mm. and they have changed now. And what is it that you you, you want to say maybe to upcoming by lowering the they want to be where you are, King or by to be where you are? Or let me talk about radio. Mm -hmm. What do one need to be in radio or to be like Kwenisto? Yeah, I, I always say. We can have book when it's over. Every person on a limb on a camo color or something, Jimmy Mamma Filaka and Anne. I tell a pale, I yank a talent. I have come on a rana, tell a fast and cooper. The reason why I'm not the sea on a level, yeah, facing it like this. This is a sign to show or you came on earth carrying something, yeah. Everyone, each and every one of us, we do reflect something. So you need to find your zeal, your passion, and everything that you love, and then chase after it. My path may not be the same as yours, yeah. but the goal may be the same, to say, I want to be on radio, I want to see myself as a, a well-established radio personality. So what you need to do is, you need to be yourself. Be motivated by Kwenista, but be, be yourself. At the end of the day, we need your, your personality. It's okay to be inspired by Shaba, it's okay to be inspired by um, Maxwell Mujapelo, but don't be Maxwell. We have got already we have Maxwell. Multiply as Maxwell, but in another form. Yeah. Become yeah. yourself. Be yourself. And don't apologize for being yourself. So do you have a, someone who's inspiring, inspiring you, like someone that you're looking up to? A lot. Uh, I'm, I'm inspired by a lot of radio personalities different for different, but the one that takes the cup must be Shaba. Ashifa Shaba. Yeah. Are my, you saying that because of he is no, your current employer? Yeah, no, you can go and check my, my Facebook post. I used to post about him before, before he before he can even work. Yes. Local. So mm. he, he, he's one man who actually turned the radio world in this province upside down. You go to every radio station, you check, there is an element of Shaba there. You go to Palapala, there is an element of Shaba. You go to Tobela, Shaba's fruits are there. You go to Mungana, Shaba's fruits are there. You go to Capricorn, Shaba's fruits are there everywhere. Yeah. In radio in this in this province. 
uh, Shaba is there. There's a little Shaba in each and every one of us. I need to give us. a chance to know this guy. He's a, I, he's, I he's, know he's, him through. He's, he's, he's a great man. He's, I know that, that he's crazy. He's he crazy. loves perfection. He's crazy in, in a manner, not, not yeah. in a disrespectful way. Yeah. In a manner that when I knew Ashifa Shaba was back then, was in Yaka, was DJ yeah. Fresh, doing the joke, I was like, this yeah. guy is Mucha crazy. Tereba. Come again, man. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So he loves perfection. Till to this so, day, I've been on energy for over a year now. And it was his birthday last like yeah, uh, last week. Happy belated, brother, uh, if you're watching this. Yeah. And he has been like one year later, when I'm still at energy, he still calls me during the show to say we don't do things this way, we do them this way. During the show? Are you saying during the show? Yes, he not will after the no, show. No. There are certain things you need to fix them now. He's ready. Don't wait for and then you, because you, you might come back and repeat them. They call you during yeah, the show. No, no. I get after doing your link, you you play music. And they will call and say like, Morana, one, two, three. We are not doing it that way. We do it this way. And you learn. You listen to them. Oh. But sometimes it doesn't like demoralize or no, 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 you're no. gaming or I was. I feel like I was doing good. No, no. And now you're saying I must not play what or I must not say this. He's a listener at that time, oh. and it's representing a lot of listeners. Oh yeah. And then you need to listen to him to say, okay, for him to be great, Kurari, this is what he's doing. And then I must copy that and listen to him. And Oscar arrogant, do I ego or hunty? Really it's not about you. Really yeah. it's not about. It's about the person Who's on listening. the other side. So you need to have that room to improve every time, to grow. Yeah. Don't just think you know everything, because the moment you think you know. That's why you're going to mess up. Come on, Queen I, I, Are you a pastor? <laughs> I'm not a pastor. Come on, you just go to church. <laughs> I just go to church. Come on. I feel like I can listen to you for two hours. Like, I want to let you know. <laughs> like, was, this guy is saying, like, I'm getting free education. You know, it's only yeah. to get to university. That's how it is. And it's radio. You know, till to this day, when I get into the studio, I still get nervous. Come on. Because the moment I lose that nervousness, that's when I'm going to lose it. So you think, yeah, I'm big now. Yeah, you yeah. think you know it well, all. So there must always, even Robert Marawa still has that. Uh, he, he goes there, not undermining whoever is watching or listening, mm -hmm. and he gives you the best. That's what makes people to be great. You always want to improve. You always think, I, I don't want to mess up this thing. I want to give people quality. Yeah. Then by that... That that way you will you will grow. When is you big? Have you noticed that you're big or you still like you still wanna be big? I don't think I'm big. Come on. I'm just too confident. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just too confident, bruh. Uh, I, I think I'm just too confident. I, I don't the thing is I know who I am. Bo, bo, there's some those those who don't know that you are a presenter, ne? Yeah. I don't give you a script. But I just want you to do something, you know, like you are presenting. Something, you know, like it's happening. And maybe a link. You just finish playing a song. Then you're getting in. And yeah. I just want people to hear. You want to hear that? I know it's fine. Okay. I, I want them to hear the talent that I... that The reason why I'm here. Or give any talent effing or this guy. Come on. Okay. Hey, caught me off guard. But you know what? I, I know. I know. <laughs> but, but you've been born for that. Yeah. 105.8 Energy FM, station of Sakawa Samarata, Lokanaka Mono, Lami Ropa, Jajina Lohono, Splat on a far Richie B, Rena Pilari Lau, and Arika Mumiropa, Kamo Wild Things, the Telehono, Rishina Fali, Yena, the owner of podcast, Kena Richie B, Kufila Fale Koshana, Rojana Riana, Atlawena, Ari, a single ladies, Kauriala, Ibet Falam, Soskel Smithano, Roger Irina Yabarara, on a far station of Sakawa Samarata. Do I rain? Ask you what daily, a tada. <laughs> I want to be more, like, more, more than you. Yeah. I want to do more than you, you but can. I don't know how, how can possible. I, can I get more than Pelajo? You are a radio. No, I'm not. You, know, you are radio. You guys are praising me a lot. Come on. You don't, the thing is that you don't know until mm. people are telling you. Yeah. We're not but thank so you for that. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, I don't want to see myself at that. Come on. Let, let's play this game. Let's play this game. Okay, there's a game. Guys, All right. I'm, I'm out of alcohol. I'm out of out of drug. Look when I think she is about to go out. You cannot be more. One day, after five years or ten years, they will come back and sponsor because of this. Yeah, definitely. But in case we no, of course, that we fail. Hey. Let, 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 let's play this game. Well, I, 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 I want, I, I want, before we're still going to talk, 
Kinyakaritale, this game. This okay. game will take us to the topic that I want us to okay. talk about. You know? <laughs> of which is something that you don't want to talk about. You feel like you've been telling people and you feel like it's enough. And you can recently followed you. Hadzibur, when you to a guy, who's when the fuck, who's that? Okay. And now, Hadzibur, what is happening? So, let's play this game. I want you. It's. I'm gonna tell you two people. Okay. One must go. If one must go, what am I young? You remain with one. Okay. You have two girlfriend. So get 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 So one must go. So you choose one. Okay. Sharp. If you were to choose between radio and your your partner, which one must go? Radio can go. Alright. Radio can go. Uh, radio can go. Radio fucked me up. Bro. Come on, you're big because of radio. I hate radio. Radio fucked me up. I'm fucked up now because of radio. Radio hurt me. Mm. Right. Radio had, had broke me. Come on. Radio has done a lot of shit to me. So it can fuck off. All right. I'm going to come back to that one. So there is this stars say go 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 ntle go mo shama watle go arna le Cardi B Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. One must go and remain with one. I'll always go with Nicki. You love Nicki? Yeah. Because Cardi is a copycat of Nicki. Come on. Yeah. They're two different people. Just like no. Okay. Just like Messi and name um Messi and nah. Cristiano. Uh, Cardi came into trying to replace Nicki. And but Nikki, with her own style. But but Nikki will always be Nikki because of the love her. <laughs> because she's Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to check, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let, let, let me see. There's King Munara, there's Master KG. One must go. And you remain with one. Master KG can fuck off. Why? Because Kaniki is. Yeah. Well, you're comparing two people. I'll tell you. Master KG, when he started, yeah. he was singing to us, the Limpopo people. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we lost him to the people of Natal. Natal. King remained with the sound of Limpopo and produced for people of Limpopo. Till to this day, King is still relevant to us. I'm not saying Master KG is no longer relevant, yeah. but the sound, King kept the sound of Limpopo, and he never ditched the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You listen to Master KG today, he's, he's international. I don't know, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. But you, 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 his sound is no longer representing us. I'm, I'm, I'm a pro Limpopian. Yeah. I, I love things to Limpopo. I want to see Limpopo going forward. And I will support anything that talks Limpopo. And in this regard, I think for consistency, uh, you're keen for, for always sticking to our sound yeah. and improving it. Yeah. That's why I will choose. So now I want to put you in a space. I, I don't know why. Kwenisto, Shebe and King. You need to choose one. One must go. I will choose Shebe. Come on now. Yeah. Why? King has done everything. He has won awards. He has established a family, a nice house. He has done everything, King. He performed in bigger stages. Sheba is still coming. He needs to taste everything that King tested. Yeah. Can we push him to be like King? Yes. Come on. Come on. Press that button now. Yeah. <laughs> you you, 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 I don't know. You take me somewhere. When like, are you seeing somebody? Do you have? Do you, do you, do you have I, a, I have a girlfriend. She's here. How many? Are you? She's here. Oh, only one. Yeah, one. Yeah, only one. I thought maybe you believe in both polygamy. I do believe in polygamy. My, my grandfather married two, so I'm still, I'm, I'm we're still engaging. Nale, now we're about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are, are we not adding another one now? But they're not, she, she's I don't approving. Think, no, she's approved. She said it must be approved by her. The lady must be approved by her. So she, doesn't, she doesn't have a problem. She with doesn't it. have a problem. Do you see yourself with two wives? Yeah. Or more than two wives? Yeah. And the fact that she's Indian. She's not a baby, but I want. Uh, uh, Is that one? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> Men Kwenisto, thank you so much for joining me, man. Like, kiki, kiki, really, uh, free education, and yeah, man. You are real, you are you. What is it that people don't know about you? Maybe you want to tell them, and you've been waiting to tell them. Maybe you, you, you needed a space to say, you know what? You've been saying this about me, and this is this. People don't know how much they hate us on the street. Could be on social media, could be anywhere. They 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 don't know how much their comments hurt us. They think they think we are living in another another world, and we are we are living here on Earth. We have got parents, we have got siblings. Who sees these things that other people are saying about us? And I don't know whether it's in hatred or what. But whatever that is eating people in this country who are hating on others, may God heal them. Because there's so many, there's too much bitterness in our young people. Social media is toxic. You, you go to social media, you see people, you know, speaking ill of each other instead of loving each other. Yeah. And you ask yourself, if we hate each other like this, what will happen to the next generation? Yeah. If there is something that I loved about AKA, AKA had, had, had his own, you know, whatever, people, whatever they talk about him, but there's something about AKA that I love about him. AKA, whenever he performed, everywhere he went, he always carried the country on his shoulder. He always performed with, an, with, with our flag, come everywhere. On, come on, I thought I'm the only one recognizing that. No, no. And 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 and, and, and you, you you check AKA. Yeah. The reason why Bernard Boy is no longer even coming to South Africa is because of him. It's because of him. Why? He was defending the country. When when the likes of Bernard Boy were talking ill about our country, it was the likes of AKA who said, "You know what? Fuck the friendship." I remember he said, "I'm putting my country first. <laughs> and you see, such young people they are very important. When fees must fall was popular and everything. Yeah. These are the likes of AKA who went there to donate money. Why? They wanted to see South Africa progressing. Come on. So even me, today I see how our leaders are failing us in this country. And some people, they know me as a pro ANC member or whatever. I'm not even a member. I'm just pro ANC. I, I appreciate ANC for, 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 for what they did for the country. Yeah. But there is a time where we must, as young people, choose between ANC and the country. And, and, and if we were to choose, if I were to choose today, ANC in a country, which I would one? choose South Africa. I would choose this country because ANC does not exist without this country. Yeah. At some point, as young people, we must be true to ourselves and forget the bread that we're getting from ANC. Because at the end of the day, the very same bread that we are getting from ANC, you may not be able to get it if this country vanishes. In order for you to protect the bread that you are getting from ANC, protect the country. Come on. And that's why I appreciate the likes of Julius Malema. I will never defy Julius. I will never speak ill of Julius. I will never even speak bad about Julius because I know what EFF and, and the likes of Julius did for this country. If it was not because of those people, yeah. we will be Zimbabwe right now. Come on. The little they did to stop South Africa, I mean, the, 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 the ruling party. The ruling party from destroying this country. It is much appreciated. Do you still support ANC? A, a lot. But did you see this problem? How do you now fix it? Is, is it something that can be fixed anytime? Or we gave I, it. I think as the, as the PS, the country, we gave ANC a chance. In, if fair enough, yeah. we supported them when it was not fashionable to do so. We, we, we spoke well when it was not supposed to. We were there, we conversed for them. I'm one of those people. Come on. We did everything for ANC, but the lives of our people are not improving at all. We cannot keep on feeding them. If they can't, they must get out of the kitchen. So what do you think? I wanna, I, I, do, you, do you think maybe we should give another party chance or maybe we should change the, the authorities so maybe things can be better. What do you think? Maybe you should give another party chance to rule? Or what do you think? What, 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 what? There must I, I'm, just not, be... I'm, not, I'm not in pol politics, okay, yeah. but maybe you can teach but, but, me. But I, I, I think we must stop running this country politically. 
put the people with the right experts at the right places. The people who did engineering and, 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 and energy must lead in energy sector. This deployment thing is killing our country. Yeah. We are not saying they must not lead. They can be our ministers. But please. They must have put, experience of what is happening. Exactly. Exactly. In another country, the minister of sport is somebody who played sport. The minister of art is somebody who knows the problem of artists. Who has been an artist. So we need to put the right people in the right places. So that we can see progress in this country. Yeah. So as much as we can give another uh, party a chance, it's going to be useless if they don't have the right policies. Konisto, come on. Ladies and gents, uh, don't forget, this is the Beehive podcast with Richie B. And I'm joined by uh, Kwenisto, Minister of Youth. If you are given a chance, let's say, to be a, a, a president of South Africa, what is it that you will do or change? About this country? Yeah. I will change deployment. I will scrap off the deployment and put the right people in the right positions. You know, sometimes the team is not winning because they don't have the right players. The team is not winning because you literally couldn't meet your nine in like yeah, motors in the better nine, meet your two or two, meet your five. So it's a it's 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 a lot of misplacement in this country. That is what is taking us backward. So we need to put the people with the right skills and the right um, knowledge in the right positions. Then you will see our country will move. I don't know how we ended in, into this politics, but this guy is well informed about politics and he knows the way forward on how to deal with this. If you had a chance, you will change this. I will change that and I will, I will also take away the grant. I know people don't agree with Come me. Come on. And in, and, yeah. <laughs> They're not making any 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 difference. Come on, they do. To some they do. But but what would you pass I got the fifth? Who's talking about the fifth? Do you believe that story? I, 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 I read about it that that's a game. But do, do you believe it? How many will do that? Few. I mean the fifth has not even buy you electricity a week now. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you want to tell me that is life has changed? Hmm. We deserve better. We well, deserve more. So you take when I get you for what? What did you then? Okay, sharp. Let me see. Then you invest back into the business of the young people. The young people here, yeah. there's a lot of work to be done in, in, in these communities, in these industries. But the thing is, the young people do not get fund. The money is misplaced into the wrong end. That's why you see now even Lotto is... They, they, they've stopped this thing of... Uh, they're now investigating people. You see how much money w was wasted by individuals. Yeah, yeah. You, I... you take 27 million, you give it to one person. To benefit him alone. King, King, Lotto in of to Chelten Jello Bech. Yes. Didn't you see the story of Father? Mafukat. Oh, the story I... of... Uh, the story of Teru Petro. There are so many people it's who to... squanderize the money, the funding. Because you are giving each other as comrades. Then you let it uh, be high vision on the podcast. Instead of investing into his podcast and uh, support and buy him equipment and, and a vehicle and a branding that will make him so that investors can come and say, hey, we want to invest into this. We are taking that money, we are giving it to one individual who does not even need it. Kwenisto. Kwenisto, ladies and gents here. Yeah. Kwenisto, God. Kwenisto, we can talk. Show you how many minutes go energy. Three hours. Three hours. So I don't want us to talk three <laughs> hours. And I want us to wrap up this. I think I still going to get chance if possible, if you're not angry about the questions that I'm asking you, uh, just to chill with you. But what's the other side of you yeah. and more to this? And yeah, you said on the on the comment, <laughs> on the comment section, go Facebook, go Facebook. There was this lady who, who uh, what happened to, to Tobela FM? And I saw your comment. I did not want to engage on it. I wanted to, I, I waited for this podcast to happen. Yeah. So they said, ask when you saw what happened to Tobela FM. At Tobela, there was a scandal. They accused me of things which I don't know. I don't know what happened. 
and I've explained how these things work and everything that transpired on that fateful day. And I've, I've already spoke my mind about it. And to them, they say the contract ended, which is true. But uh, we all know what happened. What happened? Some, some people benefited on that night and then they, 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 they threw us under the bus. They blamed us. I don't know how they sleep even today to see so, them destroying something that we have worked so hard for. Are you saying you've been framed? It's not being framed. It's people who didn't take the responsibility of the mess that happened that day. Then, they, now that the people were, were putting it on somebody, they saw it as an a scapegoat to say, I really they're not blaming me. Yeah. So let it be Quenisto forever. Till to this day, still Quenisto. There's some people must come and apologize to the people of this country for putting us, for destroying our name, for destroying something that we worked at for, 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 for whatever reasons, which I may not know, that on that night they know what happened, but they didn't come forward to say, no, leave Quenisto alone, it's me who did this. It's me, maybe who took the bribe, or it's me who took that decision to say, this song must not play, this one must play. I don't know what I'm talking today. Four years later, they even came up to say sorry to us. They came. They never. They never. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what about the cars that they are driving, the houses that they are staying in, and I am here every day. I have to answer to some comments on Facebook every day. People still believe that I did it. But for someone to say, to just to say, Ish, I can see where they're still blaming one about. And, uh, and I that, lost a lot. That thing destroyed a lot of... Uh, I think... I, I don't know... Uh, they, 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 they destroyed me. Don't be afraid to say it. I'm afraid. I don't know who are those people. So... They destroyed me. <laughs> they know themselves. <laughs> they know what they did. Come on. And I'm not laughing. This they go to church. I see them. They pose with... Coming from church and everything every day. And I'm like... Wow, but they used you. Well, you know what? One thing about radio is that only the producers, people who tell you what to do, the employer will tell you what to do, what to play. I don't know about the song of the year or so forth or Udrahaing, but it's not the decision of Kwenis to, to say, you know what, because of Richie is my friend, I'm gonna play Richie's song. Even if I want to, I won't. I'm not. I, I, I don't have that power. I don't have those powers. I, I heard you. I heard you, bro. I heard you. And it's bad because, of course, there are a lot of people who are pointing fingers on you, maybe like a or something like that. They yeah. don't know what happened. And yeah, to, to, to them, what are you saying to them? They said they demand apology for you doing that. They still think it's you. No. I've, I've already went to Kim another. We spoke about it over, over tea. And I think as long as Kim and Adali Sharp, okay, right, the Sharp, won't understand it. Kim tells you what happened, and he understood. And the young man was like, you know, Kwenisto, it's fine. Because I think he also had questions around it. Until I tell him the version of what happened. And it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense right now when it I'm makes listening. Sense. Like it I, I also like I have a, a, a little experience in radio, what to do, what not to do. Yeah. So I, I understand you, man. I understand. Yeah, not that I'm can, buying your face because of no, giving me chance. No, you, 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 you are right. And and, and 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 what I just want to say is that uh, everyone knows what happened on that night. And I don't want to be put pushing and pointing fingers, but if I were to say it, if I were to say it, they know themselves. Yeah. And till to this day, if they want to take me to court for lying, let them do so. If I'm lying, let them take me to court. Mm. 
Yeah, let them take me to court. <laughs> I hear you. If I'm lying. But if I'm telling the truth, we didn't have a show fact. You're strong, man. Very strong. But there are certain things in life you can't change them. And there are so many people who are actually paying for sins which they didn't do. There are people in, 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 in jails who are paying for stuff that they didn't do. And I think God trusted me with this pain. He knew that I would carry it and it won't destroy me because. I believe that God ukala every moleko tla moe no lebela rishi wa ka o tshwara man so and I thank God for trusting me with this with this pain because some people I think they would have killed themselves they would have destroyed them went back to be nyopis and everything because you know, some people they thought I would be a hobo when I, at that time you never thought of taking your life na a kira lo go fitla na mo <laughs> All right, ladies I've and gentlemen. I mean, I've been in enough pain, bro. Growing up with no parent around. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, kissing the underwear, the whole and everything. Kicking, you keep paying if it and it and destroy them. I hear. That's why le le ba bolala kwa le ba la la. Kara giri po ko wa chwa. And you still meet those people to bed, 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 comment, and go in a bed. Yeah, but they don't say those things. Oh, no, I don't know them. I can't say them. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to go. No, I'm Guys, uh, this is. I have one chore to go to support her. I'm going to go to Richie B. At least I believe you kick me. I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to go to the guest. Elo ro sonja be free a khona o contractor a khona o bolela ka mogwa khona nga khona o tshore di mic thank you so much for tuning in ladies and gents thank you so much for being here you could have been somewhere else doing some things but you chose to be here with me and kwenisto eh ke makwena magaga kwenisto i want us to refitlela gona mo okay i want us to refitlela gona mo thank you so much for giving me a chance and i believe or you've said enough now I'm educate I'm, I'm education not educated. Yeah, yeah I've, I've got knowledge from you today and yeah, man. Let's see who re masar swareje in you now. Ladies and gents, my name is Richie Beam. Shimono mutela ka sema o mosulwane ka mala wa ntsema fela bara ke na Mr. Danki my baby. Eh danki my horse. Well, well, well.